changes to the plan since it was first announced, and more changes could soon be coming. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter is on the story. She joins us live now in downtown Buffalo. Madison. Yeah, Keith, you said eyeballs rolling around. We pulled up here and a couple pulled up behind us. They've been sitting in their car for the past 15 to 20 minutes. I went and knocked on the door just to see what was going on. They had no idea. You could only use your smartphone app. They had no idea the parking rates had changed. They weren't sure what to do. I was trying to walk them through it because there's so much confusion surrounding these new parking rates. But honestly, earlier when we talked to the parking director himself, he says he's not even sure how long these new changes will be in effect. As I said, we made some modifications right off the bat, and we, we heard what the people said. Buffalo Parking Director Kevin Helfer says updates are still being made to these newly passed parking ordinances after extreme backlash from the public. Well, and I said from the very beginning, this parking plan is going to be fluid. There's going to be things that we think are right that are not right. Now the city is working to clear up the confusion as the ordinance continues to change and it hopes to do so by using the Buffalo Rome city parking app. Right, so we're going to have to do a better job of getting that message out there. We're going to have to use all those mediums that I talked about. Elfer says the city will also use social media to notify people about when there's an event at the Key Bank Center, such as a Sabres or Bandits game, and when the new rates will be in effect. Council President Darius Pridgen says lawmakers anticipated making modifications to the parking rules when they passed the ordinance. The administration asked for this. Um, we were clear uh, that we would not do this without there being a look back period so we can hear uh, from residents. Helfer says he raised prices after hearing from business owners about cars hogging parking spots all day. So we raised that to $2 an hour so that they're not going to be encouraged to park in front of them and take up that spot for the whole day. We were told this was for turnover. If we're not seeing turnover so that people will want to come to the city of Buffalo, then this Common Council uh, will be requesting from the Commissioner of Parking a new plan. Again, we're down here at Canal Side for the Sabres game today, just watching people pull up. Listen, they like the $4. They like the rates. They just don't like how confusing it is to figure this all out. Lastly, I spoke with some common council members on the phone earlier today. We just asked them point blank, was this a mistake to roll out? Some said they didn't want to comment. Others said, you know, this probably should have been a little more vetted before they rolled it out because now they're trying to play catch up on the back end to fix things. Reporting live at Canal Side tonight, Madison Carter, 7 Eyewitness News.